Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. Thank you. Five ways narcissists use food to control you. Narcissists use food to manage and control your body. They persuade and induce you to change your views and to choose a different course of action. To influence, pressure and shame you into complying with their demands. But how do they do this? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Here are five ways narcissists use food to control you. 1. They will act concerned. They disguise their demands as though you're just a matter of interest or importance to them. As though they actually care about you and they want the best for you. So they may express their concerns for your health and then use this as an opportunity to give you dietary suggestions. They will criticize the types of foods that you eat or your portion sizes. They may even dictate a specific time that you should be eating. Because they're discourteous, impolite and ill-mannered. And yet you may still find that you're always giving in to them. Because it's affecting your confidence. It's causing you to doubt your own decision-making skills. And it may eventually manifest as an eating disorder. Where you're overeating or eating an insufficient amount. Or you're no longer eating a balanced diet. 2. They will criticize your eating techniques. There's nothing wrong with having table manners, but narcissists are really not concerned about your dining etiquette. They're just looking for problems. They're always looking for ways to take a jab at you. So they may criticize how you hold your utensils or the speed at which you eat. They may say that you're eating too fast or too slow. They may say that you're eating too loud. They will always find something wrong with what you're doing and it will leave you walking on eggshells at the dinner table or when you're out in public. It will cause you to become extremely cautious about your actions because they get angry and offended very easily. But it's not because they care or because they want you to improve your eating techniques. It has nothing to do with that. They just want to make you hyper aware to where you're much more alert to stimuli than normal and you're hypersensitive to the details of your surroundings because then you're hyper responsive which means that you will show enhanced attention and salience to forthcoming sound or visual stimuli and it's a very potent source of supply to the narcissist which is why they deliberately target your self-esteem to try to lessen your effectiveness power and ability and leave you dependent on their approval, on their favor, agreement or encouragement of you because it makes them feel like they have control over you as though they have the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events rather than you exercising control over yourself. Three, they will make you feel guilty for enjoying your food. There's nothing wrong with enjoying your food. Food is meant to be enjoyed. We can't live without it. It keeps us alive. So of course we're meant to enjoy it. But narcissists always contaminate things that are normal and healthy. Such as making you feel guilty for eating a specific food that you enjoy. They will criticize and belittle you. To make sure you know that they disapprove of your eating habits or choices. When in fact it really has nothing to do with that. They just can't stand to see you happy. Because their happiness isn't like that. And any time that they see you enjoying something. It just reminds them of that fact. Which is why they have to destroy any favorable moment or opportunity that they can. Because they know it's never going to be like that for them. But sadly it causes you to develop feelings of shame. And you may eventually decide to do without it. Although you would like it, you choose to give up your enjoyment to avoid having to deal with the narcissist's bitterness and wrath, which is extremely upsetting and disturbing to talk about, let alone witnessing it. 
but this is the reality of it. These relationships cause us to slowly disappear because you lose all of your likes, interests and preferences, your wants, needs and desires, everything that made you, you. And then you feel empty inside. You become a shell of who you used to be. Four, they will criticize your weight. Narcissists want to dishearten, dispirit and depress you. They want to cast down everything that you're trying to accomplish. They want to corrupt your morals and deprive you of spirit, courage and discipline to make you feel less confident in yourself. And they will do this by constantly criticizing your weight or your body to target your self-esteem and make you feel insecure about your self-image to where you begin to feel undue awareness of your appearance or your actions. You feel embarrassed, uncomfortable, uneasy, nervous and tense because they're constantly judging you and expressing their disapproving opinions, which they use to manipulate you into seeking their approval by making passive aggressive, passive aggressive comments or by comparing you to other people to target your vulnerabilities regarding your physical appearance or dietary choices. And when they see that it's making you more and more uncomfortable and insecure, they will keep doing it until meals at home or in restaurants become events that you're reluctant to do or experience. You may not even want to eat anything anymore. Maybe you'd rather just starve because you don't want to go through it again. The constant disapproval is harming you and causing you suffering to where you feel like you're constantly at fault or making mistakes. So you become very anxious and stressed of anything to do with food. The narcissist is aware of this and they're doing it deliberately and intentionally to main maintain control over you because they're very uncomfortable and insecure with regards to your happiness and enjoyment and your feelings of pride and satisfaction with your own self image, which is why they have to dominate your thoughts and emotions regarding food and your body weight or appearance to keep you insecure so that they can control you. Because as long as they feel like they can control you, they don't have to reflect on their own shortcomings. It acts as a distraction and a temporary escape from their own insecurities about themselves. Five, they may withhold food from you. They may physically prevent you from having access to food. And if you try to eat, they may start fights with you. So they're essentially starving you. They're causing you to become very weak because it makes it easier for them to pressure and condition you into adopting radically different beliefs, which is their objective. And it's why they may also try to deprive you of sleep because they want to break you. They want to persuade or induce you to change your views and to choose a different course of action so that they can be in control of you. It really has nothing to do with your eating habits, body weight or dietary choices. They really don't care about that. They don't value anything. They just want to turn you into the opposite of who you naturally are. They want you to lose the determination to oppose them and their indoctrination so that you will accept defeat. And then it translates to them that they are overwhelmingly powerful, but they won't ever look at themselves and think that they were the cause of it or that they were to blame. They see it as though if that's who you really were before they intervened, you would not have lost the will to oppose them or to give up and accept something that you initially opposed. You would not have yielded to despair, temptation or injury, which is completely insane because no human alive is completely unaffectable. We are all capable of being influenced, harmed, or interrupted in some way to where we may no longer operate in a natural or sincere way. And yet that's what they use as justification for the abuse. And it's what makes them very dangerous people to be around because with that way of thinking, they can do whatever they like to you 
and still find a way to justify it based on your reaction to it. Because they will always blame the effect rather than examining what the root cause of the behavior was. Which means that no matter what they do to you, you're always going to be to blame. And they will start arguments just as you're about to eat because they understand the effects that this is having on your brain. They know that food is a basic human need. People cannot live without food. We would die without it. So when they start arguments when you're about to eat, it triggers the form response in the brain, which is when as a response to trauma, we unconsciously try to avoid or minimize the stress or danger by pleasing or appeasing the threat. So if we learned that one thing is disapproved of, we might try something else in an attempt to pacify the narcissist by acceding to their demands. Or if the narcissist has used the double bind, bind tactic, which means that you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, your body will naturally enter a dissociative state, which means that as a protective measure, your brain will disconnect you from yourself and the world around you. You may experience a loss of connection between thoughts, memories and feelings that you once had before. And it may also involve problems with identity, perception, behavior and sense of self to where you may even develop multiple personalities because the narcissist has caused you to feel uncertain about who you are. And this may even shut off the core sensations of your body, such as hunger and pain, in exchange for what the narcissist has deemed to be necessary or appropriate for you. Narcissistic abuse is like a sharp knife or a sword. It cuts deep and it leaves scars. It is one of the most horrific and damaging experiences a person can go through. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.